if you don't get over that, you're doomed. Because what happens is this. You start to create a whole bunch of people that aren't even yourself. You never figure out who you are. You, you never live up to your dreams, your ambition. You live up to what whoever is around you that you like so much that you want to emulate and be like so much. You live their dreams. You lose your power. You, you lose your power. The ultimate power is owning yourself. I had to reinvent a human being. I sat at home so, for so many fucking nights by myself, broken, broken, not just physically, mentally, spiritually. But then I sat back and said to myself, I invented a motherfucker. I actually sat back when I was fat, nasty, out of shape, miserable, and created a human being in my mind that didn't even exist and said, that's what I want to be. I want to be that guy. I want to be a guy that's capable of doing exactly what I'm doing today. And you have to, if you weren't born that guy, that mentally strong guy, he can be made. Woman, man, whatever the, whatever the hell you are. It can be made. But in making that person, you have to turn, be able to turn down book deals. You have, to be, you have to be who the fuck you are every day of your life and never care about anybody who gets in your way that says you're not doing something the proper way. I was always afraid of people not wanting to, like when you get beat as bad as I did, I lied all the time. I wanted to be accepted and loved and all that shit that I created about 50 people. Whatever you like, I like. Just, if you would be my friend, just be my friend. And that's where we get lost in life. When I post about suffering, this whole new, kinder, gentler, soft ass fucking world, they just fucking, oh God, this is horrible. We talking about, no. Suffering, if you know how to do it without making it out to be like, I'm not talking about you have to go through cancer. But I guarantee one thing, man, I bet you a better motherfucker Mentally, if you look at it the right way, everything I went through in my life, every bad fucking thing I went through in my life, the two heart surgeries, all the name calling, being everything I went through. If you learn how to flip that motherfucker on top of his head and say, hang on, hang on, there's so much power in this fucking thing. And if you look at life as it is a trial ground, a testing ground for where you need to belong, where you need to go, Suffering is a fact of life. And if you look at suffering the right way, it's a great tool to callous your mind. If you look at it as suffering, woe is me, this is bullshit, God, kicking rocks. If you look at it like, okay, motherfucker, you tested me now. I get it. Whenever I'm being like depressed, I go through depressed moments, like, oh, hang on, I'm getting, I'm getting tested. So you have to be aware of all the signals and signs that are, that are being given to you from the world. One of them is if you feel bad, you're being tested. How are you going to perform under that? And that stuff is a part of life. It's very needed. It's the only place. I'll never forget when I was younger and I lived in a seven dollar month place and fucked up, everything was jacked up. I would, for, I had a pair of jeans and every, I'll never forget this long to live. You know, first day of school, people go to school shopping, right? Week out, two weeks out, maybe a month out. You didn't have any money to do that. So I had this pair of jeans that the inside of the pocket was green. The inside of the pocket was green. I wore them almost every fucking day. So what I did for the next year of school was I cut that pocket out so the green would show. So we had a new pair of jeans. All I wanted was money. All I wanted was a nice car. It was a nice car. The second I got the fucking money to do it, I realized, bullshit. That's why I don't own a car, I don't own a place, I don't own shit. You will see me wearing the same fucking shit every fucking day, nothing. What I realized is all I wanted in my life was look at that fucker in that accountability mirror and be proud of. And everything else went away. While you need money to be successful, you need money to live, you need money... Money does buy a form of happiness because without it, you're fucking miserable. But once I realized 
it, it doesn't mean shit. It doesn't mean shit for me. While it helps you, it also hurts you to come from darkness because why it's easy for me to sit back and say, you know what, poopy pants mentality. I'm gonna sit back and let the world take care of me now. And we, that's what I'm talking about, don't play sick too long. While my childhood was so messed up, I played sick way too long and I almost lost tons of opportunities by playing sick. Because it feels good to play sick. My dad beat the fucking shit out of me, man. I, I couldn't read, I can't read. You know, when I was a junior in high school, I couldn't read. If you lived that life, it feels good for people to, oh man, you know, that's just David, man. He's just not real smart. And he had a bad life. And you, you get a get out of jail free card. That's nice. It sucks doing what I had to do to get here today. That was not fucking fun. That darkness is, not, there's, there's nothing that dark to drive me to the place I had to go to become successful. On the flip side of that, if you come from a silver spoon family, you have to realize that. You have to realize, fuck. There's people out there like David Goggins who had nothing, fucking nothing. And I've had all this opportunity in front of me and I'm a loser. I'm not shit. So what does that say about me? The conversations are very similar. You have all this opportunity and you've gone nowhere with it. I'm at the bottom of the barrel and it could take me a lot longer just to get where you're at for the, for the starting line to be fair. There, there's a barrier in your brain there's a barrier you got to find out what kind of removes that barrier from your brain my biggest barrier was my father and once i removed that barrier i was free to think and once i felt good about myself i was free to put action in i never felt good about myself i never felt good about myself whenever i would get somewhere the demon will come back, put me right back in the cage. If you don't go back, like I'm a runner, left knee hurts. A lot of people focus on that fucking left knee. A lot of times it's your fucking right hip, and that's about life. You gotta figure out what has messed you up mentally. Go to the source, go to the origin of the source.